Hello everybody, Brian Tulsa here. I have the information on the Route 66 trip. I have the deets right here, right now. By the way, do you know how difficult it is to change up the backdrop in these videos? That's my coat rack. I was going to do this video outside on my patio, but unfortunately I am located near a hospital, so there are frequent ambulances running by with their sirens on, spoiling my audio, so I had to scratch that idea. So now I'm standing in front of my coat rack. I promised to take you all on a partial Route 66 journey, and I've worked it all out at least as much as I can right now, and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. The start date will be June the 1st, 2022. I will be starting from here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. But before we get started, since Tulsa is on Route 66, uh, I'm going to give you a little preview. I'm going to hit some of the Route 66 destinations here in town, and that's how we're actually going to start before we start traveling. So we'll do that, and then on June 1st, we're actually going to leave town, and we're going to travel heading toward Amarillo, Texas. We will start from Tulsa, and we will stop at Pops in Arcadia, Oklahoma, to pick up some strange and unusual themed soda pop. We'll pick up enough to try them out as we carry on on the journey. Unfortunately, we cannot stop at the Round Barn, which is nearby, because it just won't be open at that time. That's something that made it a little difficult to coordinate some of this stuff. I wanted to hit places while they're open. However, you got to remember, eventually we're going to come back. And coming back creates more opportunities to hit some of these spots that were not open on the first pass through. Our next stop will be at the U Drop Inn in Shamrock, Texas. Now, I know you're probably thinking you're skipping a few things in the Oklahoma City area. Don't worry, we will catch it on the backside. Catch it on the backside is probably not the best choice of words. Our next stop will be at our motel in Amarillo, Texas. We will be staying at a motel, not a hotel. That is not something I usually like to do, especially with my kid with me. My daughter will be going with me on this. I did confirm that. She does still want to go. Uh, usually, motels, I'm a little skeptical of them. They can be a little sketchy, but I double-checked on this one. It's fine, it's safe, it's clean. I will show you the motels where we're staying when we get there. I'm not going to announce exactly where we're staying and when, just because I don't want anybody just showing up uh, as a surprise and, you know, encountering us there. I do want to meet people on the trip, all right? I will be uh, saying pretty much exactly where we are going to be and when we are going to be there, except for the hotels. So if you'd like to meet us, on the trip, uh, meet us at one of those locations where we'll be enjoying some of the uh, sights and uh, the experiences of Route 66. Uh, meet us there, uh, hang out, get a picture, uh, whatever you'd like to do. But the hotels, like I said, I do want to show you the hotels, but I'm not going to announce those in advance, just as a safety measure. While we're in Amarillo, of course we have to hit the Cadillac Ranch, and we will have spray paint cans with us. We will be spraying those Cadillacs. Would you like us to spray paint something on the Cadillacs for you? Maybe we can do that. Let us know. After we check in at the motel, we will make our way to the Big Texan. And the Big Texan is a big restaurant, a steakhouse, and they have the 72-ounce steak challenge. I will be taking the 72-ounce steak challenge. I will be failing the 72-ounce steak challenge, but I'm still going to try. After the Big Texan, we will go back to our motel. I will edit and upload the video for that day. And it may be a little late, but I will also try to do a live stream from the motel. That will conclude day one. For day two, we're going to get an early start. We're going to head west. And I would like to stop at the Glen Rio Ghost Town. It is right on the border of Texas and New Mexico. I'd like to stop, however, if we're running behind at all, that's probably what I would have to skip to get us to the next destination, but if at all possible, I'm going to stop and check out the ghost town. We will carry on to Tucumcari, New Mexico, and in Tucumcari, we will visit TP Curios. That's a legendary shop on Route 66. 
we'll see what oddities we can find there. While we're in Tucumcari, we might as well get lunch. We will go to La Cita restaurant, have some Mexican food before we head on west again to make it to our next destination. We will be taking a detour off of Route 66 to Santa Fe, New Mexico, so we can see Meow Wolf. If you don't know what Meow Wolf is, stay tuned. You'll find out what Meow Wolf is. This is a destination my daughter really wanted to see, so we can't skip that, and we have to leave plenty of time to fully explore it. After that, we will get dinner. Depending on the time, we will either get dinner in Santa Fe, or we will head south to Albuquerque, New Mexico, which is where our next hotel is. It's actually a hotel this time, not a motel. I will show it off to you when we get there. Also, my friend Landon, uh, he would like to get uh, a photo of a a particular location in Albuquerque, I will find it. I will search that out. I will get a photo for you, Landon, specifically for you. Once we are finally in the hotel for the evening, I will edit that day's video and upload it. And if it's not too late, I will do another live stream and that will conclude day two. At the moment, I'm predicting I will have the funds to make it to Albuquerque. After that, we will have to head back east to Oklahoma. The plan as it stands now, though, is to leave out on day three early again, and when we get to Tucumcari, New Mexico, we check out the Mesa Land Dinosaur Museum. After the Dinosaur Museum, we will get lunch and we'll head back toward Amarillo, and this time we will stop at the VW Slug Bug Ranch, an attraction lesser known than the Cadillac Ranch, but similar with VW Bugs. We will spray paint the hell out of those guys, then head back east and stop in Shamrock, Texas, for the end of day three. I will edit the video for that day, upload it, and again, try to do another live stream. On day four, we will leave Shamrock, Texas. It won't take us too long to get back to Oklahoma, and we are gonna stop in Oklahoma City for the Oklahoma City Ferris Wheel. Now, that Ferris Wheel just happens to be a historic Ferris Wheel. It used to be located on Santa Monica Pier at the westernmost point of Route 66. They moved that Ferris Wheel to Oklahoma City and we are going to take a ride on it. After we head out of Oklahoma City, we will go to the Round Barn in Arcadia, another iconic Route 66 location. Don't want to miss it, and it will be open this time as we are passing by. After leaving the Red Barn, we will stop in Chandler, Oklahoma, where they have a Route 66 interpretive center. I'm very curious about it. It just looks like a lot of fun, looks really neat, so we will definitely check that out. But that will be our last stop on the Route 66 tour before we make it back home. On this trip, you will get as many Route 66 attractions as we can squeeze in. You will get opportunities to meet us, to meet me and my daughter and say hi and get a picture or whatever. Uh, you will also get a video every day and hopefully even a live stream every day, time permitting. I hope everybody enjoys this. I, I'm really gonna try to get the most out of this and make this uh, an experience for everyone, that everyone one will enjoy. So that's it. June 1st. This is happening. And between now and then, I should see you fairly often. With this channel, I can do anything I want. So any crazy ideas I have between now and then, I'll just make a video about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your help and your generosity. Let's drive the mother road. I will see you next time.